Welcome, one and all, to the mystical world of Felbar. Adventures abound throughout this realm, and we appreciate the opportunity to regale you with some stories from these trails. These accounts are all based on actual RPG experiences that occurred within Adventures in Felbar. Some of these tales may be for mature audiences, while others may be for very immature audiences. We now present the sage Mikas Tumo from Tamel, also known as the Bard of Felbar. Welcome to Session Denali-01. Our story begins with a group of mid-level characters arriving at a set of remote islands in the Vertukian Sea. A mage named Harris is traveling with Brother Stance, a monk, Sir Omel, Knight of Barkas, and a gnome rogue named Phidias. Our intrepid explorers have found an inlet leading to the interior of the large island known as Denali. The seafarer, their rented craft, is able to dock in a large city called Saydown. After thanking the captain and paying their debt, the adventurers debark and meet with the dockmaster. Using a comprehend languages spell, the mage is able to communicate directly to the port authority and assure the guards present that they mean no harm. As the spellcaster uses his innate charm, he is told that they will be taken to the monarch, as visitors are an uncommon thing in Denali. The PCs arrive and are able to meet with King Pellet of the Denali. After introductions are made, the group is met by a person the size of a small shed. Grish, an obvious foreigner, who has been able to find favor with the king, is the captain of the guards. An enormous man, he dwarfs nearly everyone in the party except the knight Sir Olmel. When asked about his heritage, Grish explains that he is a cleric from the land of Zenobia to the south. The holy man is proficient in several languages and is able to communicate to the PCs on their level. He goes on to explain that despite his Zenobian heritage, he is an ally to the king and has full faith in the monarch. Questioning by the monk yields information that the two countries are long-term enemies, but Grish is an outcast due to a forbidden romance with a princess. Grish expounds, and the mage confirms, that the king has instructed the large cleric to be the guide to the party while they are in Saydown. The paladin questions the term guide, to which Grish confirms that he is to spy on the party in order to confirm their peaceful intentions. At this point, the enormous cleric and the large fighter go nose to nose as the warrior takes offense to being spied upon. Grish is able to calm the situation when he asks the holy warrior if he would rather be lied to. The pair stand down together and nod to each other in acknowledgement of an unspoken code. As Grish steps away, he notices the smallest member of the group behind him. Who might you be, the large cleric asks the gnome. I may be your mother's lover, tough guy. Grish scowls broadly at the comment as Harris the mage steps in. This is Phidias, a roguish individual with a dark sense of humor. You've also met Brother Stance, a monk of the Verte Order. Sir Omel, which, well, you've already met. And I am Harris, a purveyor in the magical arts. Grish nods to each member and points at the gnome, who puts on a mean look and points back at the creature, four times his size. Where would you like to go first, Grish asks the party, and is greeted by several requests, including a somewhat muted, your mother, response. The cleric looks at Phidias, then back to Harris, asking, is he always like this? The mage sighs deeply and nods silently. Grish shakes his head and utters, oh boy. The next several hours, Grish wanders the streets of Sadon with the party, showing them the buildings, statues, and gardens that the city has to offer. With night falling, he arrives in front of Sadon Inn and speaks with the innkeeper for a few moments. He announces that the rooms have been acquired and the party may get a meal and then get some rest. He also tells them that he will return in the morning to speak with them further. As he leaves, a retinue of guards takes up positions on the corners of the building. It appears that the explorers have not yet reached trusted guest status in the city of Saydown. We close out this episode now and give you our thanks for listening. Please subscribe to this podcast and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at The Bards Podcast. For everyone in Adventures of Philbar, 
Thanks for listening.